Legion is one of the most profitable, most popular and versatile league mechanics in the game and that's a fact. If you want to farm and blast through the maps on some quite fast and powerful build that is a map blaster, then definitely Legions are for you. You don't really need to think that much whenever you're building into Legion. You don't really need to pick up too much stuff. You don't really need to create some specific builds for that. The most thing, the, the thing that you need the most is speed and speed clearing and then everything will just be quite fine with you playing on legion and you can make you can make just tons of currency uh, doing that strats on many different maps with many different other mechanics so let's go what's the best part about legion it's he it's it's that this mechanic basically gives you so much currency it gives you so much different stuff from uh, all, all other leagues and it gives you some timeless emblems as well that were quite cheap in the last leagues because so many people try to farm legions and and last but not least legion is a very very good divine cards multiplier which means that if you are trying to farm some divination cards um, for divine orbs or, ma or many other good items like mage blood and stuff then legions are probably the thing that you will try to force on your maps as well just because of the sheer amount of uh, enemies that they spawn with how they interact with delirium beyond many other mechanics so legion is just a very great multiplier for any loot that you can imagine and by itself the mechanic just gives you so much much, even if you're not trying to multiply anything even if you're not trying to farm uh, some map with good uh, with good um, divination cards but yeah um, let's talk about it let's talk about uh, why exactly is it good and how are we gonna profit from which things are we gonna profit the most and it's not timeless emblems as I've said before they are pretty good especially Marraketh Templar ones they sell for some but they are not the main point of your trial to farm legions uh, if you're playing ssf they are just great because that's the source where you can get your timeless jewels uh, otherwise in regular trade leagues they are just an a good addition for you to have incubators are a second edition in this term you are you wanted to try and uh, get as much uh, ornate incubators you're going to be farming just tons and tons of different incubators most of them are not going to be that good ornate ones are very good kalguran incubators can be good because they drop reroll currency and um and divination uh, diviners incubators are going to be pretty good as well because they drop stack decks and then you can buy them or that you can sell them in bulk or or you can open them if you want but anyways these three are one are like the main incubators that you want to use they will generate you raw currency or a raw something that will convert into currency and these three are the most uh, common um, commonly used yeah so otherwise everything that that um that uh, legion itself drops is going to be surgeons and uh war war hordes with some specific um, additional loot modifiers on them that are quite often either currency ones or maybe some sometimes fractured items again divination cards stack decks many other things like that scarabs maybe as well as uh, because legion spawns many rare enemies as well and rare enemies drop quite much different loot so this is just your uh, most universal uh, generic big amount of mobs that you want to kill fast and then move move on with it now let's talk about talents we already have our atlas tree uh, with patch notes so everything is updated nothing is touched and nothing is changed uh, especially uh, at least um, if patch notes are real and they didn't really um, do any shady stuff uh, with uh, the 3.23 update okay so you want to sp spawn as many legion um, encounters as many legion monoliths as possible because you can get more than one it's not like with expedition which means that you want to get as much uh, chance to um, contain that to your maps to contain them you can use scarabs here so legion are not um, without investment me league mechanic if you want to make profits out of it you can play without 
scarabs but scarabs especially uh, like the second tier one are pretty good and you uh, you would like to use them you may use sextants as well but sextants are way way um, higher on the price and you don't really need to do that as much um, the legion mechanic itself takes way more talent points than expedition for example so you need to invest in most of its keystone talent points because they are very very good and yeah and there are quite uh, a lot of them and they are spread out a little bit more than expedition which is a uh, an inconvenient um, part so you cannot really um, engage with many other league mechanics but you probably just don't want to do that anyways because legion gives you everything that you need okay so we're stacking chance of course then we are going for additional surgeons we are going for additional additional rewards from surgeons this one in particular protracted battle is if you don't have enough time and duration of legion for your build in particular is lower than uh, you would like it to be then you want to grab this one if it's not then um, if, if you're so fast that you don't need this extra duration which to be honest not everyone will have uh, then you don't need that uh, this talent uh, you don't really want to get the timeless conflict uh, because of how it works and stuff then we are going for emblematic which uh, converts your timeless splinters into emblems yet again we you don't really want to pick up splinters if uh, nothing will be changed um, as we think it won't it won't be then uh, many people will farm legions and timeless uh, timeless emblems will be quite common they will not be as uh, high of a price which means that um uh, which means that you don't really want to pick up timeless splinters that are only a fraction of that value and whenever uh, timeless splinters are converting into timeless emblems then yeah you're picking them up and you're selling them for some additional 5 10 20 chaos orbs uh, and stuff like that you want to specify marakath and templar ones templar armies because they are more uh, rewarding in terms of their in terms of their uh, emblems and stuff here we do have additional chance to contain uh, legion encounter as we've already talked about that is important uh, here we're taking war, war supplies each legion in our maps contains an additional war horde which is a powerful additional uh, additional in terms of loot and uh, yeah again release from stasis um, th that's just some additional uh, things we are not really taking face off this one spawns generals on in your uh, with your timeless monoliths way way more often and uh, they are way slower to kill and they don't really grant you anything good except for some splinters and as we've talked already splinters are not really that worth that worth it and uh, it may even uh, delay your um, your monolith um, spawning because after you've killed every single mob uh, general itself can be way more healthier and it will take you some additional time to kill it so most of people don't take this one whenever they are farming in trade leagues because yeah it's just not as efficient and you don't really need those generals so we're taking war hordes here we're buffing them then legion chests in your maps contain an additional random reward and legion monsters which have rewards have chance to gain additional rewards and um yeah they will have some your monsters will have some additional life but that it doesn't really matter you need to have a build that can f that can clear those legions fast as possible and then you will have um enough uh, rewards from it and you wouldn't really feel that increase to the to the, the life of monsters so this particular farm method is not the league starter one because you you still can do that but you wouldn't have as powerful build as it uh, requires you to have so you it's probably safer for you to start with expedition for example and then change or maybe ultimatum if ultimatum is gonna be good and then change into the legion and delirium or beyond um, and stuff like that yes and uh, which maps do you want to farm specifically it's not the point of this build if you because maps are very very uh, subjective thing dunes for example as it was in previous leagues were very very good for legions you want maps with big open layouts that you can rest run quite fast through and you want to spawn uh, we, combined with legion you definitely want to spawn some uh, some sorts of um uh, influences 
most likely you will gonna go for the red one for the Syrian Exarch because it just gives you way more good stuff than the um, the Eldritch Hor the um, yeah the um, Eater of Worlds one. Uh, so basically you will go for Eldritch Gateway and then take everything here um, and you will farm them combined which means that yeah yet again maps where you can uh, either run fast to the last boss of the map is pretty good to kill it and then to uh, interact with all the altars or maps that you love, that you prefer, if this is uh, what you're going for, or maps with good uh, divination uh, cards, which may change yet again. And yeah, and Dunes, of course, were one of the prime examples of how good of a map can be for legions combined with uh, good divination drops and stuff like that. But it all, uh, yet again, more specific it's not about the legion itself, the, what you're uh, getting with it. And then what you want to combine your legions with in terms of other mechanics. Of course, it's going to be either delirium or, and you can, um, the ways that you can play with delirium with uh, delirium orbs and stuff um, it doesn't really matter it, it matters how you prefer it again and how much your build can chew through all that because if your build is capable of going through higher delirious maps it's going to be even better and uh, it all depends on your possibilities but delirium itself is very very good in terms of combination with legions because yet again legions spawn many monsters many rare monsters specifically and they stop delirium yet again so you will have enough time and you will um, yeah you will just drop a bunch a bunch more you can play with beyond as well so um, because um, again legion is a multiplier of number of monsters uh, which will spawn beyond monsters and then those monsters will drop their currency you can sell it you can synergize it quite well um, otherwise there are less specific synergy with with uh, with any other mechanics but you, st you still can combine them with other ones if you would like to if you would prefer it um, but yeah in general you want to go for you want to equip your ornate incubators or maybe diviner incubators or kalgurian incubators um, and run them constantly have uh, them enough to um, because you're gonna kill a bunch of mobs you're gonna kill a bunch of monsters running through uh, monoliths and stuff uh, you, you would prefer preferably take some um, scarabs for legion uh, and you don't really need that much um, sextants which are yet again for more of a juicing uh, setup they are required but for low to mid tier investment they are not required at all you will still have plenty um, plenty of loot coming through from legions uh, this way without any additional uh, stuff and yet again then uh, our influence farming uh, is just gonna be the legion itself is one of the easiest mechanics in terms of you're just running your maps and killing bunch of monsters and as fast as you can possibly do that the best for you you will have more rewards that way you can just go very fast and get as much uh, things without um, yeah without needing to think that much about which specific rewards are you gonna take about um, selling uh, too many uh, niche specific things or selling too many stuff in bulk uh, because it's gonna be many many raw currency uh, divine orbs uh, are dropping from ornate incubators somewhat often as well and the ornate incubators does not require you to kill many monsters um, timeless emblems are a good additional value in these terms and the monsters themselves they both drop divination cards themselves they they drop stack decks and they drop um, regular rewards that you can get from rare monsters and um, and war hordes are pretty cool as well uh, so this is general take on uh, legion farming and it's yeah it was good it was very stable um, so it's it, it will be a good thing for you to farm to farm and yeah if you just love mapping with some extra mobs then this is the thing that will be quite enjoyable as well thanks you thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this bye